Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the React tutorial series and in this video we are going to learn how we can pass methods as props in React. So without any delay, let's get started. So before we learn about how we can pass methods as props, let's revise what are props. In React, prop stands for properties. It is an object where the value of attributes of a tag is stored. Props are like arguments of functions in JavaScript or like that of attributes in HTML. Props are read-only in nature and thus they shouldn't be mutated. Props are mainly used to pass data from one component to another in React to create dynamic content. So this is basically what props do. Props are mainly used to pass data from the parent component to the child component for dynamic rendering of some data, okay? So if you are interested to learn more about props, you can visit one of our earlier videos where we have discussed in detail what are props and how they are beneficial, okay? So similarly, as we pass data as props in React, we can pass methods as well. This is extremely beneficial when we tend to change the state of parent component from child component thereby maintaining minimum number of components with local state. So there are few additional benefits of passing method thus props. First of all, your child component need not to know that what function it should call when some button will be clicked. It will be decided by the parent component depending on situations. So basically what happens, the parent component has the entire control of the child component. It can actually say and dictate how the child component should behave. So as we have already done some theory, let's go to the code and understand how does that work. So we are back to our VS code and here you will see we have declared a folder named methods as props and within this folder we have two components cc example and fc example. So cc example basically is the class component example and fc example is basically the function component example. Okay, so let's start with the class component first. So first of all, our intention is to pass methods or functions as props to child component. So in this example, our app.tsx is the parent component and our cc example.tsx holds the child component. So within our parent component, we will first import our child component. Okay. And once we have imported our child component as profile page, we will call it within the return method and pass all the props as it requires, okay? So if you see, first of all, we have declared a dummy object user with the name of John Doe, age 31, designation consultant. Thereafter, using arrow function, we have declared a method alert user, which will basically show up an alert on the Google Chrome window that is hello with the username that is hello here user dot name is basically John Doe. So it will show hello John Doe. And then we will pass all the props individually one by one. In our child component, we have declared an interface. Basically it says what type of props we will receive. So here we have declared name as string, age as number, designation as string, and if you and see func as function. So how do we declare class component in React? So if you're not aware, you can see one of our previous videos where we have discussed in detail what are components, what are their types and how to initialize each one of them. So keeping that in mind, we will declare our class component. So we write class with the name of the component. Thereafter, we say it extends the reacts component class. And within here, we have two arguments. First one is the data type of the props received or the structure of props received. And thereafter the structure of states. So here as we are not using any local state, we have given just a, a pair of blank curly braces. Okay. So here we have a function known as handle click. Basically when this function will be called, it will call this dot props dot fuNC. Basically it will in return call the function which it has received as props. And as I have already said, utilize the props using this dot props. So if you are not familiar with this, I will highly recommend you to watch the video dedicated to class components and props. Okay. Within the class component, we should have a render method, which will return a react node. And within this, we have destructured the data, which we have received from the props and we have shown them on the UI. Okay. Finally, we have a button 
on click we are calling this dot handle click and within the button we write greet so whenever any user will click on this button it will call this handle click method and this handle click method in return will call the fuc function which it has received as props so basically it will call the alert user function which we are passing here as props so basically then we will be able to see hello john do on our browser window okay so let's run our code and see if it works for us so as we know we write npm start on our terminal to start our react application let's wait for 2 minutes and it will start so yes our application is loading and it has started so as you can see here i have name john do age 31 designation consultant this is pretty familiar you all know we can pass data as props now our final test of passing method as props so if we click on this grid button we should see an alert message so as i click on it you see we can see an alert message saying hello john do so our code is working perfectly fine now let's go back to our code and understand how we can implement this exact same thing using functional components so again we have come to our code and here i will close the terminal now from this cc example we will import the profile page from our xfc example that is our functional component now i will close this child component and will open this fc example so similar to the previous class component example here also we have an interface user with name as string age as number designation as string and fuc as function now we have default export this component as profile page and here we say this function will receive some arguments which will be called as user u in small and this arguments received will be of type capital u user basically of this interface so any argument this function receives will have or should have these four fields given so once we receive the arguments we destructure our data from it once destructured we write our own method handle click and here we say when this method will be triggered we will in return call the fuc method which is receives as props okay similarly we have shown the name age and designation on the ui finally we have a button component which on click calls this handle click method and this in turn is called the fuc method which is receives as props and that in turn calls our alert user method within our parent component and it shows hello john do on the browser okay now key example between our implementation of function component and class component is basically if i open both the code side by side you will see here i am only destructuring name age and designation from this dot props this is so because i don't think we should directly destructure fuc and we have implemented it and whenever you call any method in class component you must use this keyword because it actually refers to the instantiated object okay but in case of function component we need not to use the this keyword we can directly use it okay so again let's run our code and see if it's working for us so i will open the terminal and write npm start this will again start our application let wait for a few minutes and it should work so our component has opened up and as we can see name john do age 31 designation consultant to keep up a small difference for class component i have written greet exclamation and for function component i have written greet user so if this example works fine when we will click on this greet user we must see the alert message okay so uh, when we click on it yes we can see hello john do so our examples are perfectly fine and they are working okay now let's go back to our presentation so i hope this example is clear with you so this is all for this video if you like the content please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we are going to bring up more videos in the future for any queries doubt suggestions or feedbacks feel free to post them in the comment section we are definitely going to reply so thank you for now see you in the next video bye